marks a new chapter in our fight against this virus. Ever since the pandemic hit our shores almost a year ago, we have known that a vaccine would be critical to set us free. So all through this arduous year, and it has been an arduous year, while we've been working night and day to fight the virus and keep it under control, we've been striving too to develop the vaccines that can give us hope and let us eventually release the curbs on our freedoms that have bound us for so long. We've said from the start that a vaccine must be safe and effective before we'd even consider deploying it. Any vaccine must go through a rigorous process of clinical trials involving thousands of people and extensive independent scrutiny from the MHRA, one of the world's most respected medical regulators. Today I'm delighted to inform the House that the MHRA has issued the clinical authorisation of the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine. This is a monumental step forward. It's no longer if there's going to be a vaccine, it's when. In our battle against the virus, help is on its way. Today is a triumph for all those who believe in science, a triumph for ingenuity, a triumph for humanity, and I want to thank everyone who's played their part in this achievement. The team at Pfizer, the team of scientists at BioNTech, the volunteers who stepped up and took part in clinical trials, and to the MHRA themselves, who've made sure that this is a vaccine that we can all have faith in. Thanks to their efforts, I can confirm that the UK is the first country in the world to have a clinically approved coronavirus vaccine for supply. And now our task is to make use of the fruits of this scientific endeavour to save lives. Mr Speaker, we've spent months preparing for this day so that as soon as we got the green light, we would be ready to go. We were the first country in the world to pre-order supplies of this successful vaccine and we have 40 million doses pre-ordered for delivery over the coming months, enough for 20 million people because two jabs are required for each. Following authorisation, the next stage is to te test each batch of the vaccine for safety and I can confirm that batch testing has been completed this morning for the first deployment of 800,000 doses of the vaccine. These doses are for the whole United Kingdom. This morning I chaired a meeting of health ministers from the devolved administrations to ensure the rollout is coordinated nationwide. This will be one of the biggest civilian logistical efforts that we've faced as a nation. It will be difficult. There will be challenges and complications, but I know that the NHS is equal to the task. Rolling out the vaccine, free at the point of delivery, according to clinical need, not ability to pay, is in the finest tradition of our National Health Service. And I'm delighted to confirm that the NHS will be able to start vaccinating from early next week.